Your Honor, first and foremost, I want to thank the court for the opportunity to speak today in front of you all. I have not spoken this entire time while my case was ongoing for several reasons, so this is difficult to talk about, but I'm just going to try my best. Um, this experience, sorry, has been by far one of the most difficult things to navigate in my life. It has been very scary and challenging in more ways than one. I fully acknowledge that what I did was wrong and I am incredibly sorry. If there was anything I could do to take it back, I would. The reality is that I can't. The only thing I can do is correct it, learn from it, and move forward. I beat myself up about it the whole last year in silence because I didn't know how to tell anybody what was going on. After January, I have continually beat myself up about it as well. I realize that I can't undo the past, but that doesn't mean that I still can't walk away from this experience as a better human and move forward. My goal now is to make amends in the ways I can, try to learn from my mistakes, figure out how I got myself here so I don't repeat this terrible mistake, and do what I can to turn this lesson into a positive with the hope that I can make amends and hopefully positively influence the many people touched by my poor choices, cancer, or people mistakenly thinking about following in a similar mistaken path. A lot of people have made speculation as to why I did this and how somebody who looked like they had everything together could have such a mess. I didn't do this for money or greed. I didn't do this for attention. I did this in an attempt to try and get my family back together. I come from an extremely broken and separated family ever since I was two years old. Over the years, it has gotten steadily worse and a lot has happened internally to our family. A family is supposed to be one that's drawn together, not drift further and further apart. I was always told that, quote, I was the only one that could fix it, and I have tried for years. Nothing was working, and I kept pulling for everybody to be a normal, functioning, loving, supportive family. I thought if I said what I said, it would make everybody pull together. It didn't work, and it only got worse. After that happened, I didn't know what to do. I couldn't tell anybody, and too many people knew already. From here, it all went downhill, and it snowballed quickly and hard. The way I went about this was not right, and I wish I would have seeked out help regarding my family before making this immature decision. I was 18 years old, and I was a freshman in college when it took place. I'm young, and I don't know at all. I was not being rational. I have learned a lot from this experience, and I want to take this bad moment in my life and turn around and do good for society. I want this to reach an audience to say that it is okay if you are struggling and you need help. It is not a sign of weakness to say that you need help with something and you're not okay. I wish I wouldn't have done this a long time ago. It is also a reminder that everybody is silently battling something and you never know what is going on in somebody's life. Let this be a reminder to give each other more grace and compassion. Some might say, I looked like I had it all together. I didn't. Instead, I had a situation I was stuck in in a family that was, well, about as far from family as it can get. I had deep wounds I never learned how to heal from little on. I'm not afraid to admit that because it meant I finally learned how to heal from the inside out and realized that I am not God. I can't fix everything that is not in my control. All I can do is be a better version of myself every day 
step by step. I have taken big steps to grow and learn from my choices and the things that have gotten me here. I have been engaged in counseling and I plan to continue. I've also continued working. I am set to finish college in May and start an exciting new chapter in my career that I feel fortunate to have. In the future, I want to go back to school and get my master's. But most importantly, I want to create my own family someday. I want to break this cycle of how I grew up. And I wanted to make a family that I wish I had. One full of love, belongingness, support, cheerful gatherings at holidays and celebrations, and a cohesive unit. God willing, I pray for this. I also pray for all of those that were hurt by my irrational decision. I pray for the damage that has resulted from my actions and any harm or disrespect I caused or showed to anyone battling cancer, touched by cancer, or fighting to help people with cancer or other medical issues. Your Honor, I'm a good kid. I know I am still a good person. I have a lot to give to this world and I don't give up. I would do anything to take back what I did. Again, I am so terribly sorry. This is something that I will have to live with for the rest of my life when I look at myself in the mirror. But I know it doesn't define me. It's not what mistakes we have done that determine our character, but instead how we respond to them and how we move forward from them in the future that shows our true character and resilience. My future gives me hope and I am determined to make it the best I can. I ask for forgiveness and a second chance.